Hello, good everyone, back to another episode of Castile, soon to be Spain and soon to be ruler of that land. That land over there, that land over where, and that where land over over the horizon, let's just say that. Okay, so everyone, we are expanding. We are building ships to maximize our greatest protection. I don't know why I have not sent these guys out to go protect trade. We are, you know, basically, we're waiting on for the fact that we need to wait for our ideas group to catch up so we can finally gain our first colonist. And it seems like Portugal's already beat has already beaten us to the punchline. They've already started colonizing a little bit faster than we expected. Um, but we're also waiting for this little thing right here, so let's just continue. Ah, now, as you guys know, we have one of the best rulers in the entire game, a 0 and he's providing us with very, very little Diplo tech in almost every way. Basically, he's providing us no technology at all, and I seriously don't know why the peasants would not rise up and kill this guy. I mean, I, I would not oppose to it. Would you guys oppose to it if somebody rose up and killed this guy? I mean, no, I would not. So, um, yeah, we're trying to, as much as possible, trying to, trying to get that spawn event where this guy just randomly dies. Because, well, let's just say our ruler is suicidal, okay? There are lots of people that want him dead, and the ga the gamer is one of them, so... Yeah, that's a bad sign for him. He's probably not going to win. Anyways, we have the paper controller. Uh, we are investing a lot into this guy. I don't think anyone else is going to come after him now. I think I've secured his e existence. Ah, oh, dang. The papal state just like took every single one of mine that was supposed to be theirs. Dang, that makes me feel bad. Okay, well then, we could try to start fighting back Sweden again, but this one, eh, I, I feel like this one's just going to be a constant toss-up, and it's just not going to be worth it, so let's not go for that, uh, hmm, you know, we'll just save up our points, that's what we'll do, we'll just save up our points, since we don't really need one right now, a new cardinal, let's see, do I have instant, yes, this is a good cardinal we should invest in, only 18 right now, this is a good cardinal, let's see, are you investing into this one, Hungry, let's find out. We'll find, we'll find out in a little bit. You want military access, Brittany? No! Because I don't even know what you guys would need it for. Let's see. Yeah, you, you're not at war with anyone like Portugal, which would be the only reason why I'd see you want to go to war. So, yeah, I, I don't see the reason why you would need... Well, you would not... The only person you would need military access for me through would be to get if you wanted to get to Portugal. But you're not at war with Portugal, so I don't know why you need military access. So, yeah, <laughs> I, that's kind of weird, just saying, just saying, you're, you're a little bit weird there, Brittany, you're a little bit weird. So, diplomacy-wise, I have to look around this and make sure all the opinions of the, of the world are liking me, um, at least the, the important opinions, I mean, I could care less about the little tiny states, but the important opinions are the ones that should matter. Uh, let's start doing our yearly rounds of improving relationships with, by the way, is Muscovy improve relationships with us? Join a coalition. How big is a coalition? It's only Muscovy. No. No. I'm not, I'm not like, mad at, I'm not mad at, like, Muscovy for ex extreme amounts of expansion. Because that's what I usually do in this game. So, you know what? I cannot be a hypocrite, I should say. I should not be a hypocrite to my own type of style of playing. Okay, so let's see. We have a 20-45 naval limit, which isn't good. I usually like to be just at the mark. So, let's just start building more ships. Four, five, six, five, six. Oh, wait, one, two. Ah, eh, who cares? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Okay, okay. The Iberian wedding. The Iberian wedding. Oh, I know this event. I so know this event. The Frederick King of Aragon was married to the Prince of the Bella of Castile and Valland. And yes, every single one of these guys is gonna sound like an old 1920s announcer. Okay, everyone. This marriage was for political optimism, not romance. The court of, of Aragon dreamed of returning to Castile and Isabel needed help to gain succession to the throne. The marriage initiated a dark and troubling life in which Fernandez fought on the Castilian Aragonese fronts and fought to impose an authority over the noble oligarchies. If you guys don't know what oligarchy is, that's basically where rich people own everything. Um, shifting his basis of support from one kingdom to the other according to the intensity of the danger. 
Despite the political nature of the Union, he loved Isabella sincerely. Many consider Fernando the savior of the kingdoms, a bringer of unity. Others despised him for having opposed them, miscellaneous attribute to him, objectable qualities of the Renaissance prince. Okay. Yeah, basically, so let us bind our dynasties. The weak and pathetic guy of Etic will get a, a personal union. No, let's not. Let's marry a local talent instead. Ooh. Hmm. Can regiments rise up and get See, I don't know how much we would actually need to do this event, to be honest with you. Like, I'm usually very full. Like, let's go after and go annex people. Who's on? But the thing is, is that we already took as much land as we could from Aragon, like, immediately. We just kind of took it because we were mad at them for other things. So, really what this event is really asking us is... This is the diplomatic approach, which I, I don't really see much reason to do, honestly. I would love to say I do, but I don't, because... As I've always said, we've always conquered everything we do need of this land, and yeah, I'm. I'm... <sighs> it it just it there's there's no point. I I guess the final word of point, the final thing is that there is no point. A lot of people are like you could just do it for the expansion reasons. Well. Honestly to god, I could just do this like on a free time. I mean, it wouldn't take that long for me to annex Aragon. Just boom, 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 boom. It, it really wouldn't. This is like a puny conquest at the very most, so. You know what? I'm gonna take it down. No Iberian wedding. Sorry, guys. <sighs> you guys were good people. I admit it. Isabella and Fernandez were pretty awesome people in their time, but... I'm sorry, Aragon, you're just not worth it anymore. Plus, you hit me by 200%. And it'd be very hard for me to rectify that. Okay, so we still got about the same amount of events. Actually, we should actually do this one, because we actually are trying to create a proper fleet. Okay, now I'm going to move these ships over here. That way they don't interfere with the massive building efforts I'm doing for my new and improved army. Okay, and do we have docks everywhere? No, we do not. Get docks everywhere. We have armies everywhere. No, we do not. Let's get armies everywhere. It's not that hard, people. Just listen to what I say. Okay. So let's see. Brittany's still not mine. There we go. There's my condo. Okay. And let's see. Has Hungary invested into you? Yes, he has. So Hungary is going to try to fight me over here. So I better keep a little bit ahead of them. Over here, we're probably going to have to fight for this condo a lot. Because, yeah, people are stupid. They will, they will fight for the stupidest of things. So we're probably going to have to fight for that. And then, now that we've done that, it's time for us to build more barks. A new cardinal, and he's mine. No, he isn't. Shoot, I thought he was mine. Okay, that kind of made me. That, that kind of makes me sad now, because I was kind of misled by the game there. Well, let's just keep building up more ships. Second wave of ships going, everyone. Second wave of ships. Ah, and I just. I don't know about you guys, but I just love the fact that when you build ships, my king, France has broke their line. Oh shoot, that means they rivaled us, didn't they? Yep! <laughs> After trying to be the nicest of guys, you rivaled me and kicked me out anyways. Okay. Uh Yeah, I'm gonna be king I'm gonna be king of are you the king of the Holy Roman Emperor right now? Yes you are, and you'll remain the throne. Okay, Austria, you and me are buddies. Yeah, you and me are buddies, dude. We have a little, we have a little bit of a French problem over here. This, the French are becoming like major, major like. Uh... Oh, you want a royal marriage too? Fine, I can do that. Let's see, am I over my limit yet? No, I'm not. Good. So yeah, we have a little bit of a French problem. I won't deny that. We have a big, gigantic blue blob that thinks it could take on everyone. Hmm. Well. <sighs> I'm just gonna say this now, friends. If you expand one more time and take either Burgundy, well, actually, the only places they can it can expand into is places that either the 
Austrians, me, or the British would hate, because they can't expand to Brittany, because Br England would hate that. They can't expand into Aragon, or anywhere down here, because I would hate that. And they can't expand anywhere over here, because Austria would hate that. So, if they expand literally anywhere, we, we as the alliance of the uh, the three trimate, the three tri trimate will basically defeat France and destroy them. So France, don't try anything. We're, we're, we have our eye on you so hard right now. You don't want to deal with this. You don't want to deal with this. All right. We have we have revolt risk possible in some kind of Catalonian provinces. Um, I'm still waiting for Catalonian to convert to us because I'm not. Just considering they should be out. Oh, dang it. Let's see. Which one is it? Which one's not loyal to us? Which cardinal is not loyal to us anymore? Hey, one of our cardinals actually made it. That's cool. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, France is going to fight us hard for that one. Okay. We can get a free militaristic leader. Uh, I'm saving up those points for when we actually get a... Uh, uh, what was it called? A... Not a dock. Not a person. It's a... Shoot, what is it called? Conquistador! There we go, guys. Thank you. Thank you for yelling at me on the computer saying what you wanted to say. Yes, we were waiting for the Conquistador because the Conquistador is what gives us power, strength, and precision as being the seal. Because we are actually the real Conquistadors. All those other countries may claim they have Conquistadors, but we are the real Conquistadors. We have the word Conquistador in our dictionary. It is a part of our culture, and no one else can. Ah, oh, Really? Wait, really? Did they really take out all my influence over here? Uh, no, Portugal's not that powerful anymore. Yeah, Portugal, I'm... We're gonna have to have a chat later on today, because you can't do that. I, I don't like the fact you guys try to uh, take my power for you. It's not... Oh, gosh. The one thing I forgot about, about, about Austria is that they call me into a lot of stupid wars. So, yeah, there we go. Let me quickly do this. You may not negotiate on my half. And, yeah, go fight the war. <laughs> Let's see. What kind of war is it, by the way? It's a Burgundian mess. <laughs> That's the best I could give you. It's a Burgundian mess. So, yeah, Burgundy basically wants to fight Austria. Uh, by far as I can see, I think the sides are equal. Or as equal as I could get. And most likely, Burgundy will go in and be crushed by the Austrians. Or should be crushed by the Austrians. A Cardinal is no longer loyal to us. Ah, uh, dang. France, I'm gonna hate you so much if you actually take my Cardinal. Cause that Cardinal's mine. Okay, and let's see, we have any more docks we can build? We can build one in Gibraltar. Uh, actually, I'll spend more on getting my trade ships built up. Let's see, more trade ships! Wahahahahaha. And one more, five. Oh, you build one more? Good. Let's see, how much more do we need before... Wait, I don't have to look down there. How much more do we need until we actually get near a force limit? I do believe this is actually going to be the last one. And then we get like 75% of what we need for our naval force limit, which means then we get naval tradition! Which, again, if you couple with Castilian ideals, you usually can make a pretty powerful army. Like, this heavy unit combat ability with naval ideas, ooh, that gets a very good bonus. Trade ship abilities, ah, oh, man. Like, this is just, this is a country just built for the sea and built for, like, um, expansion. Okay. My king training! Oh, God! Well, that's sad. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, and have never seen me in this game, I have a very distaste for, uh, anything of the word slavery. I just do not like it, even in game terms. I know, I know the mechanic, I know, I know it's just a game and all that kind of stuff, but... I know this is supposed, a game is supposed to just fill the wishes of some kind of secret fantasy we all have of being powerful, but I, in any case, I do not like slavery. I do not like it in game terms, I do not like it in any type, shape, or form, no way, no how. Um, the sad part is, though, is that I can't exactly annul it. I have to basically... This is, this is the funny thing, is that I don't like it at all, but I can't exactly get rid of it because um, this game does not allow that. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be it's supposed to make you feel like a bad person, basically. It's supposed to make you feel like a bad person. And claim our rivals land, I'm guessing Primo is, yep. 
Okay, so achieve religious unity. That actually won't happen for a very long time, so no. So yeah. Um, and I know it can get kind of annoying for people to keep hearing me say gosh dang every time that appears, but it's just how I roll, and I'm sorry if it does annoy some of you people. Okay, there we go. Time! That was my little serious moment. Now back to funny moments! Ha 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 ha! Okay, so, this is Aragon really be- is- what? Austria, what happened to your armies? Why are you not just, like, destroying- Ah. Uh... Am I really gonna have to send my 38 death stack in there? I'm gonna have to send my 38 death stack in there. I, I don't really want to, but I don't really want to lose this war. So, friends, good buddy, old buddy, whatever you. No. No, you guys would not give me militaristic access. Ed Catholicism's lost when we, we did a revolt. Papal influence. Nah, I don't really want to reform, so let's just get the revolt risk in Valencia. Yeah. Something you should guys know is I'm not going to probably switch over from the Catholic faith because I haven't really, I don't know, the new religions just don't really like appeal to me very much. I mean, I'm not going to be like a, I'm not going to be a reformist because basically guys, there's only two religions. There's the reformists and there's the Protestants. The Protestants are basically for countries that want to have high tax income. Basically, that's not going to happen, okay, because I don't really care about high tax. I, I, well, I don't really care about taxes because I'm going to have so much taxes coming from the new colonies. It's not even going to be funny. So, there we go. And this guy is living a long time. Even without war, this guy lives a long time. And let's go get our carnal back. Ha ha! Take that, France! Okay. Um, but yeah, and then the second one is reformist, which is basically like a trade nation empire thing. Which, if you're a republic, like if you're Venice, you should totally become a reformist. Because reformist helps your country out so much. But for my country, it just, it's useless. It's completely useless. Yay! Is that a condo? No. Ah, when are they going to produce a papal condo for the Castilians? Castile deserves a condo. I mean, honestly, we do. We deserve our own condo. And let's see, are we dominating trade over here again? Because I think the Portuguese are starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Like, you guys are idiots. By the way, we're allied with you, so I hope at some point we can inherit your throne. Because that would be nice. Okay. Let's see, we finally got our first event. Yes! Okay. There we go. More progress to us. We finally got our first event of exploration ideas. Now we just need to get the quest for a new world, which will come up in a long, long time. We can all think... Our great king of Eski the Fourth de Tlastaban Yara. Tlastaban I I just cannot pronounce that for the life of me. I'm sorry guys. Okay, get back to get back to Barcelona, because that has enough supply limit to support all you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just cannot pronounce that. That is like way too hard right there. Okay. And let's see, we can build like two more units. 40. And then actually we build like five more units, actually now I'm thinking about it. There we go. This will become like my new army to add up into the official Castilian army. Look at that. Let's, let's look at that army right there. It's beautiful. Let's go add these guys in. Uh, I mean, no one in the world in their right mind would want to take on that army. It is way too powerful. And it's just sitting there right next to the Aragon for I mean, Aragon must be so scared. They must be like, oh my goodness, my, al my enemies are just right there building up an army. That ain't good. And there we go, okay, Austria finally got itself together, and now it's starting to do what I usually think of Austria doing. Um, but for some reason it's doing, okay, okay, I, I, they're gonna win this, I'm pretty sure they're gonna win this, so, yeah, okay, Austria's, I think Austria's now turned its luck around, that's good, yeah, it seems, it seems to have everything under control now, so, yeah. Like I was saying, I, I didn't really think I'd have to be in this war, because I'd be really stupid on my part, because, honestly, Austria's... Uh, stronger than me when it comes usually Austria is stronger than everyone in the continents so yeah okay so we're just waiting Let's have a little bit more we're almost there guys okay let's see emissaries I think I'll probably get some diplo animation yeah administration tech too and Brittany why do you need militaristic access are you at war with someone no you are not so then why do you need this I don't know but I'm gonna decline uh, oh, you you left before I could decline. That makes me kind of feel sad. 
I wanted to apply myself. We need a plan! Good! We always need a plan. Because everything in this world needs a plan. If you don't have a plan, you don't have a life. And if you don't have a life, you, you are not existent. If you are not existent, well, then... Hmm. Well, that ends my day of, like, thinking. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.